What is up, Power Maniacs? Power Stasis here. We're back in the world of Mad Pack 2. And as you guys can see, we're, we've are been digging down a little bit deeper. Uh, not too deep, but a little deeper. And we found uh, a new dungeon, which is not really cool. Uh, some really nasty stuff could be down here. Uh, it does look like we have some pretty nasty potions. Uh, but we do have a fairly decent bow. Now, it's kind of interesting. Uh, it says highly polished. I have absolutely no idea what that means, uh, but we will go ahead and keep that on us. We'll take the feather, uh, that, and the dark steel. Probably should take the rest of the stuff and the torches. Uh, I am gonna leave the laudanum here. Uh, I don't really see a point to grabbing that and taking that with us. Um, it does look like we're okay here though. Oh shit. Uh, not okay, not okay. Bad, bad, bad. Alright, up, 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 up. Okay, don't you know. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that there. And we're gonna break this, which allows me to hit them without hopefully being hit myself. And we have a monster farm. Monster spawner here. So I can basically get some EXP and some mob uh, critters and things along those down here. With, uh, for the most part, minimal uh, effort. <laughs> Now we do need to head back upstairs since we have found a monster spawner. Uh, I don't know how many zombies I just killed, but it was probably two or three. Uh, however, before we go all the way back up, I do want to put a torch right here. There we go. That'll keep bad things from spawning. I definitely don't want bad things spawning in the cave. Now outside the cave, I'm cool with. Just, just not inside my, my love cave. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. All right. So let's find the book. Uh, I don't think I destroyed the book. Uh, it's possible, but nope, there it is. All right, uh, and then we need to deposit some of this. You know, I'm just gonna deposit everything with the exception of the book. Uh, we have two baked potatoes. That should be enough to keep us going. Uh, we'll put that up, we'll put that. Apparently we can't put that up. Put that up in there. All right, let's look at the book. What do we have with the book, ya? Yeah. Welcome. Uh, I yes, I've already heard that, thank you. All right, adventure time. So. The quest book has changed, obviously, um, a lot over the versions. This has changed since the last time we played. Uh, if you guys will remember, we were playing on beta 4. This is beta 11, I believe. It's either 10 or 11. I think it's 10. Uh, either way, beforehand, you had Adventure Time and the building stuff. Now we just have Adventure Time, and you can see everything's kind of different here. So uh, from here, you go down into whatever this shit is, and then we also go over into this stuff. So kind of interesting. Uh, we have killed two of five zombies. If we finish, we get an artifact armor. Uh, at this stage in the game, that is actually really good for us to get. So we're going to come down here and kill the last two zombies that we need. So we need to kill, sorry, three zombies. Uh, looks like we got one right down here grinning at us. Come on, buddy. All right, skellies are dying. I need zombies, man. Come on, zombies. Come here, bros. All right, I think I may actually put another block in here. Uh, oh, zombie, zombie, hey. Hey, buddy. Can you, thank you. Okay. Oh, God. That's not good. We're in some shit now. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, we're fine. There is an infernal down here that I need to be careful with. Is it him? No. He's almost dead. Good God, what the hell? Okay, there's another one. There's two more. Uh, is that all of them? All killed. Claim reward. Okay, so, allow sneaking on air when equipped, knockback resistance when equipped, while they're breathing after taking drowning damage for two seconds. So that means I can't drown for an additional two seconds, which is really nice. Because um, the Mad Pack, if you get in trouble, you're going to drown instantaneously. Uh, like, literally, you just instant drown, which is kind of fucked up. Alright, so we want to seal this off. Um, let me get some blocks, which is going to be kind of hard to do. Uh, let's break this and that. That's two blocks. That's the only two we need. Oh, hello, buddy. How you doing, guys? Okay, we still have that infernal down here, which is bad. I don't know if I can... Whoa, 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 Hey, if I can get them fighting each other, that's actually pretty good. 
God dang, dude. So what I'm trying to do is I want to put a block right here where I'm swinging, and then a block on the other side. Uh, that way I can actually get down here on this. Ow! God! Okay, we need to get out of here. Holy fuck, dude. Do you see the little one down there? Where the fuck did he come from? It's a good thing I jumped when I did. Uh, that would have been really problematic for us. Um, fuck. Okay. Um, that's not good. Uh, I need to seal that off. And because of the location, that's actually pretty bad for us. Uh, and we're just now getting into nighttime. Yay. Yay. All right. Now, it says 4 of 480. I don't know what that means. Um, if you look at the bottom, it says durability is 476 of 480. If you look up above it, it says 4 of 480. The difference between those two numbers is identical. So basically, 4 of 480 is 4 reduced from the 476. So I have no idea what that means. Um, the cool thing is we can actually we can actually climb basically with this with the suit of armor, which is really nice. Uh, unfortunately, with the monsters down there, uh, we are going to run into some problems. Now, uh, I could use gravel to kill the monsters down there. Um, do I have enough gravel? I guess actually I do. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work, but we can try. I don't know if that got him or not. I have to be very careful, though, because my ladder is on the same side. And if we get another little baby in there, we're basically dead. Um, I need some more building blocks. So we're going to go ahead and break some of these. reason I need the building blocks is I need to be able to block that little area down there off. Uh, I don't want these little critters being able to roam free. So if I can get, if I can get the area blocked off down here then outstanding. Uh, it does not look like I'm going to be able to, though. Um, yeah. Let me see right there. We got... We've got a very angry zombie. Uh, I can put that there, which will block it off. Um, and that, that should work for us. Uh, that will allow me to continue to dig down. Uh, I do need to dig this little thing I'm standing on out. I'm hoping they can't fight me through the wall. If you can fight me through the wall, we're in trouble. Okay. We're all right. Uh, I need to be very careful breaking this bottom block here because we could run into some trouble. Um, in fact, I really shouldn't break that bottom block because I'm not going to be able to replace the other one. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move over one block. So we're going to dig down here and see what we got. We're looking clear. All right, what do we got here? Is this going to open us up to trouble? No, actually, this is going to put us in a good spot. Yeah. So as long as I don't get an infernal... Like that one right there. Gassed exhaust weakness. Uh, we ought to be okay. Now my goal is to... I don't know if you guys can see where I'm clicking. Uh, I want to put a block right there. And I don't think we're going to be able to. Um, I wonder. Can you put sand and gravel on one of those spots? I don't think you can. I don't think you can actually put sand and gravel on somebody. Uh, but what we can do is this. We'll put this here. Um, what I can do is I can open this block here, and this block here, and then I can put that there, and that there. And that's going to seal us in there, and then I can open this up, and open this up, and then I can put that there. Whoa! Well, that almost sucked. Put that there. Uh, we've backed it up a bit. Now the question is, what are we looking like right here? All right, so you can see we've got him trapped. So there's a trap there and there's a trap there. Now all I have to do is get rid of that guy right there, which means we need some more gravel. Uh, so we need to go and look around for just a bit of gravel. Now, is that actual osmium? It is. All right, good. Uh, osmium is another one of those resources that we do need, uh, at least for early armor and such. Uh, let's go ahead and put a torch in there. Don't want any baddies spawning. That's actual iron ore. Another good spine. Uh, looks like we're down to just one critter right here. Uh, again, Ghast Exhaust Weakness. Rare Exhausting Spectral Zombie the Deceiver. I'm trying to get the stuff that's underneath him. I'm just worried if I hit him, he might do damage to me. No, he's not. Okay, so I can kill him. Perfect. Perfect. 
Alright, we're in a good spot. Good god. Oh, is it because my sword's broke? Yeah, it's because my sword's broke. Switch to this. There we go. Are we clear? Alright, so I can break this thing in front of me, but it won't... It may not end well. Uh, I need to be very careful with how I do this. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to place... We're going to bust this block above us. Oh! Well, that almost sucked. Okay. We're clear. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here and put that there. And then I can break this. Which lets me see around. And then I can put this right there. Which should have me perfectly protected. And it does. So what I need to do now is I need to break this block here. And then I need to replace it with cobblestone. So we go like this. And like that. And then I should... Theoretically, be able to break out the bottom block on that and be perfectly fine. So I can now see through there, and I can now see through there, and if I really wanted to, I could drop down a block and we'd be perfectly fine. So, good times. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the uh, gravels, though, and I'm going to put them back. Uh, just so we don't have any little baby zombies popping in. Definitely don't, uh, definitely don't want to play uh, babysitter to those little bastards. Not too shabby, though. Uh, so what did he drop? Uh, Unbreaking 2 Projectile Protection? Alright, I'll take it. It's not a great piece, but uh, it beats the fuck out of nothing, which is what I'm currently rocking. And I'm gonna need to go back upstairs and get some more of those nice pieces. Uh, what we're gonna do here, I need to break this block right here. Okay, so I can see the iron ore. We're gonna put that there, and we're gonna put that there, which should block the Geonog from getting through if we get one, which we did. We shouldn't- OW MY GOD! Holy shit. I, I can't even damage it. Fuck! Wow! I thought I was gonna have him blocked in, but apparently not. So I have to wait here for a half art. As soon as I get a half heart, I can finish him off. And I can get in and get the rest of the stuff. Jesus. Well, that was almost the end of it right there. Um, of course, I won't regen with no health, will I? Nope. So we're gonna have to go, or no max foods. We need to go back upstairs. Ah, dang. What is it about digging in the desert that, that I have a tendency to find, like, every single dungeon ever? I don't, I don't understand that. This, this makes little sense to me. All right, let's put some, some butter, some sour cream, some bacon bits, and some cheese on this bitch. Eat it up, and let's head back down. Hopefully we can get that last little half-heart tick so that we can kill this fucker. Uh, we do want to kill this guy because he can drop good stuff for us. As long as he doesn't kill me, that is. Hopefully he can't hit me. This may be the shortest, <laughs> the shortest uh, <laughs> episode we, well I guess it wouldn't be the shortest episode. We made it, we made it two. The last time we, we only made it one, so. Come on you little bastard or Jin. Reach in, damn it. Uh, what's our next task? What is this? Farm magician. Farm magician. Whispers on the wind speak of doom. You must prepare. Your only hope lies in the diaries of an arcane farm master, Magical Mark. Delve deeper into the dark agricultural arts and craft a weak and few stone. Okay, so that's all the magical crop stuff, which is kind of cool. Uh, that's definitely one of the things they've needed to put in here. Uh, we also need to kill five creepers, which that one's going to be a little bit harder. Um, and I think all these inscription stuffs are part of... Uh, what is it? Part of applied energistics. So... And normally I wouldn't sit here and force you guys to watch me wait on this last half of the heart, but since we are so close to a dungeon down here and we're literally, you know, half an inch away from dying to this guy, I kind of want to, I don't want to like miss the death scene, if that makes any sense, you know, I want you guys to actually be able to enjoy the saltiness uh, as it happens, as opposed to me explaining what happens shortly thereafter, plus it really shouldn't take more than like another minute or so for this to kick over. It's a half heart, dude. I'm not asking for a full heal. I'm asking for a half heart. Come on, bro. Help me out here. Uh, as soon as we kill this guy, uh, we're going to get four more iron ores, I think it is. Uh, with the four more iron ores, we should easily be able to uh, make at least part of iron armor. We ought to be able to go with either the... We ought to be able to make pants. Because we have a grinder upstairs. Uh, 
We need to keep getting lower because we're at round day two. We only have like five more days. So I need to get downstairs all the way. We need another 15 blocks down, which again, I can't do right now because we're at one heart. And with Mad Pack, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, you can break things now. Well, that's different. Um, that didn't used to work that way. Um, yeah, they're letting you break blocks now, which is really odd. I'm very scared about getting close to this guy. Uh, I don't know if I can actually hit him with this pickaxe. I don't want him hitting me, because literally we're one hit away, and we're, we're doing so well. Um, God, he's making me nervous. Can I break this? Oh, shit, I sure can. Okay, how can I not hit him? All right, we're going to break straight down. All right, we're good. Hey, we got our half out now. All right. So I should be able to get a little bit closer to him. Don't kill me. There we go. Holy crap, dude. I'm telling you what, man. Hopefully he's the only one. If there's another one up there hiding around the corner and I jump up and he insta-kills me, I'm going to be a little salty over that one. All right, just fucking die, dude. Just, just give it up. Okay, we're good. Let's break this open. We need three iron ores. How much did we get? Nine. So that's a total of 18. That's actually pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Can't complain over that. Okay. So, we're going to say, screw all you guys. And we're going to keep going straight down. Um, I pretty much can't do anything anyway until we heal up. Um, anything else. I mean, I can at least they changed it to where you can break blocks while in that state, which I think is awesome. Uh, I, I do still think regeneration is a little slow. I mean, I understand you want to slow regeneration down, but I mean, we're talking like, what, five minutes per, oh, God dang it. All right, we're not going any deeper here. Uh, I need, oh God, if something steps over there, we're dead. Okay. So this is the end of this digging hole. Um, and it all depends on how big this dungeon is. Because we literally have to get out of the dungeon now to go any further. Because straight down is not an option. Oh, so we were going to basically have to dig in a direction until we get until we stop seeing this cobblestone stuff here. Uh, which, surprisingly enough, looks like we may just be out of it right here. If that's the case, it's far, far smaller than I expected. Uh, let's put this here. Uh, yeah, I could technically dig further down and, and, and barricade it off, but in my experience in Mad Pack, um, that's dangerous. You know, you're, you're running the risk of dying. Besides, we want to get over to uh, Extreme Hills anyway, so there's no reason not to head in that general direction now. Um, don't forget, we, we do also want to head over to the west. Um, you need to check that village out. Uh, you can hear the monsters are quieting down, which is good. Uh, we're at 26 height. We need to go down just a bit more. We have 27 more blocks I think we can break before we run uh, out of this pick. So we're going to go ahead and start digging again. Uh, we'll put this here. There we go. All right, put you here, put you here. Let's dig this one out. Let's put a torch. I just want to at least get down to the right height before we uh, have to give up for this episode. Hopefully we can. I think we can dig down probably another 30 blocks or so before this pickaxe breaks on us. Boom, 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 boom. All right, keep going. 19, 18, 17. Oh, God. So the problem with this is technically, I believe you can get a Geonock at any point in time with any of this stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this right here, which should be high enough up to a Geonock can't kill me. Uh, apparently, it's a little too high. So we need to go one more block down, which is fine. Put this here. This may still kill me. Going on the record is saying we may still die. All right, let's break this with... Yep, we got one. We got two. Maybe three. Okay, they can't get up here, but I can hit them. No problem. Hey, we healed another heart. Outstanding. Very happy about that. I need to be careful not to hit the block I'm on. How embarrassing would that be? Get all the way down here and then accidentally dig the block you're standing on off. All right, buddy, come on, come on. 
Uh, I gotta be very careful how I do this. Uh, can I seal him off in there? Of course not. Now, I could dig a block up, but if I do that... Um, can I hit him now? Damn it. He's gonna fucking kill me. Because I can't hit him. I can't hit him. So I can allow him to move. Damn it, dude. I need you to move over. Step your little ugly Geonoc ass out here into the open. Please. Yeah, I don't think he's getting stuck here. See, the problem is... Alright, what if we put a thing there? Yeah, I, I still can't step out. If we step out, we're dead. God dang it. Alright, let's go up. <gasps> oh my god, I almost fell. That would have... That would have been most unfortunate. <laughs> His trip and fall back! Good game! Man, nothing like hearing the sounds of a roving band of monsters just waiting on you to screw up and, and trip and fall. We have not one, but two dungeons under here. Uh, I'm not sure how we're going to deal with that Geonoc down there. Uh, he's going to be problematic either way. Uh, the good news is we've got enough stuff at this point to where I can make our grinder. We have, what is it, uh, 18 iron ore once we get it all ground out. Which isn't bad. Uh, I do need three cobblestone. Oh, we have that. Uh, I think we can actually make it straight up at this point, can't we? Let's see. Grinder. Uh, looks like... Oh, we need a wooden gear. Yes. Why do I always forget about the wooden gear? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Alright, so we got that. Boom, boom. Got that. Make the wooden gear. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. Click and boom. You're gonna be you're gonna be a bitch to me, aren't you? Alright, fair enough. No worries. Oh, it's because I only have two nether quartz. That's why. I was like, I don't understand why you're being like this, bro. Alright, let's try it again. It should work now. Yep, there we go. And now we need a derp stick, which means we need a little bit more wood. Just one more piece ought to do it. And we're kind of against, uh, we're kind of in a race against time at this point because things are going really slowly and we're getting close to, well, I mean, we've still got like three days, well, five days, but uh, the longer it takes me to make this technological plunge, uh, the worse off we're going to be when uh, the ghosts arrive. So we need to be careful. Uh, I bet we still can't grind those up. Yep. Still can't grind it. That's all right. All right, folks, uh, I'm going to go ahead and grind up this iron, and then we're going to start making uh, gear out of it, uh, probably pants and legs. Uh, I will be using some of it to repair the uh, pickaxe that we've got because that just makes sense. Uh, unfortunately, the damn thing won't level up like it will with... Uh, with a guana tweaks, but it's still worth keeping. It's a, it's a non-breakable pickaxe way before you get non-breakable pickaxes. So definitely, definitely worth acquiring. So anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up this episode. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.